So AI is getting scary. I just asked Microsoft Copilot to tell me about my book, Blood Knight, and it did a pretty good job. In a world where humans sell their blood to vampires and vampires add it to their pumpkin spice lattes, the truce between the two species has led to complacency. Marcus Cross, a vampire with over a thousand years of existence, is dissatisfied with the current state of affairs. He hatches a secret plan to restore the vampire race's former strength. Unfortunately, his plan backfires, resulting in the death of most of the human population on St. Regina Island. The survivors, both humans and vampires, must now prevent the legendary first vampire. Lilith from causing a catastrophic vampire apocalypse. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, right? Um, but I don't know what to think of that. Mr. Author, did you know you can't edit a blank page? You can't tell me what to do because you don't exist. You're just a weird AI voice. Hey, remaining interest. Yes. Why do you have a beard? Because you can't write women. I mean, what do you want me to do? Write better women, that's what. <sighs> uh, I guess. Thank you. Fine. Book news. Enough of you have asked me for a sequel to my vampire book, Blood Knight, that I'm finally writing a sequel. It's still in the first draft stages, and I'm making progress, and I wanted to give an update on where I am. So I have a lot going on. I just started it, but this is where I am right now. I'm hoping to make a lot more progress this week because I changed my schedule around uh, to make more time for writing. So that's it. I will keep you guys updated as I go along, and hopefully I can make it better than the first. Mr. Author, do you agree with Stephen King? No, I do not agree with Stephen King. The road to hell is not paved with adverbs. I mean, yeah, they can be a sign of lazy writing, but you sparingly and in the right place, it can be exactly what you need. Screw that guy. Mr. Author, have you ever put someone you didn't like in a story and then off them? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Most of them are ex-managers. It's surprisingly therapeutic, um, but I'm not telling you who. It's a secret. Mr. Author, what's a writing quote that you love? I'm paraphrasing Octavia E. Butler, but she said something like, habit is more dependable than inspiration. Um, she's a smart lady, and I agree with her. Um, when I sit down to write in the morning, if I keep sitting down to write at the same time every day, it just comes out better. If it, it flows easier, um, it, it doesn't take as long to start. Um, I agree with her. Um, habit is more dependable than inspiration. It works for me.